Hi guys. Now, if you follow computer and security news at all, then you probably read about Google's new feature, new security feature, that allows you to have a new method of two-factor authentication for your Google accounts. Now, what is two-factor authentication if you're not familiar? Basically, that means that in addition to your password, you need a second code. Now, this can be either sent to your phone or a key fob or a key generator on your phone like Google Authenticator and now a key, a physical key that will allow you to get into your account. Now this means that even if someone gets hold of your Google password, they still can't get in your account because they won't have either your phone, which will receive the codes, or this physical key, which plugs into USB. Now this is really awesome because everyone's worried about security these days, you know, all these stolen passwords, every week you hear about a new stolen password thing. So it's really great that there's a new method for physical security. Now this is actually made by a company called Yubico. They make several different types of physical keys for two-factor authentication. This one supports the protocol which is called U2F factor authentication. Now there are other types of ones and there are other types of physical ones that support other ones like one-time passwords which are a little bit more expensive. This is like the basic version that's pretty much just for Google because Google only supports UTF and this only uses UTF, it doesn't have any other pro protocols. But if you got the more expensive one, you could use it on even other websites that support different protocols for the physical key. Now the good thing about this type of second factor authentication is that it's not susceptible to so-called man-in-the-middle attacks. Now how this might work is say you're at Starbucks and you use a compromised Wi-Fi connection. Now this would basically make it so all your requests to log into Google would go through a malicious server first, which means they would capture all data going in between you and Google. So even if you had a second factor, second factor authentication, they could capture that. So say you type in your password, it would still log you in, but someone would have that password. Next, if you had a second factor authentication, they would be able to capture that second factor authentication because you still have to type it in and then they would log you in and log in themselves as well with that password. Now, with this, there's a lot of encryption, some technology, I don't really understand, but this is a special type of security where even if you, you plug this in on login and the man in the middle attack, because this is encrypted, they can't capture it. They can't take your info, they can't log in, even if they get your password, they can't get this. This is for people who want or need top level security. Now I got this because my Google accounts are really important to me. I use them for pretty much everything. So it's really important that no one ever gets access to that if I don't intend them to. So this is just an extra step of security that will prevent anyone from ever getting access to my Google account. You don't have to worry about anything. It's just peace of mind. And also this is really cheap. It's like, it was $18 I think on Amazon. And if you forget this or something, you can still use your phone to log in if you don't have this. So this is, there's backup ways in case you lose this thing. I actually got two just in case. I keep one on my actual keychain with all my other keys and one hidden away, you know, just to back up if I need it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Let me know in the comments do you guys have one of these? Do you use other types of second factor authentication? Would you be interested in getting this? I'll put the link in the description, by the way, to Amazon. So let me know what you think of this. Is it too much of a hassle? Do you really not care about your Google accounts or Gmail or anything like that? And you know, I'd be interested to hear it because definitely it's not needed for everybody, but you know, I recommend it. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.